Hey everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. The name of the game, or, well, the name of the game is Control, but right now, Clocks. Clocks is where we're at. I mean, I know we don't see clocks anywhere right now, but this place is about to be strewn with clocks everywhere. Um, that is not our current mission, my brother's keeper. Our current mission is uh, this one. Investigate the safe room. And where is that? So we need to go the sealed threshold corridor. So we need to go around to the sealed threshold threshold hall. So I guess we continue. Yeah, we continue this way, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. And we need to go upstairs. Stuff flying around everywhere in the distance. I am completely in the dark on where to go. Okay, so this is where we found, yeah. Okay, this is where we need to go. Clocks, clocks everywhere. Oh yeah, this thing again. B-roll footage, we don't need to see it all over again. Literally footage of nothing. Hey, fellas. I was hoping to control him before I blew up. Um, you may wanna... At it? Alright. Get some health. And... We're going the right way, right? Yeah, we're going the right way. We're definitely going the right way. Through here, right? Yeah. 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 We know where we're going. Ooh. Didn't see this last time. This is the safe room Will showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Um. But I want in. Open. Look at all these Great. clocks. More clocks. More clocks. Danger. Danger on more clocks. Look at them clocks. You know what it seems like with this area? You know when you, like you order, you do like inventory, and you accidentally sometimes put like a, an extra zero. Instead of ordering ten, you order a hundred or something. Someone put like sixteen zeros accidentally at the end. Someone like fell asleep at the keyboard just pressing zero, and then you know they're they're as their head slammed down on the keyboard and, and it hit like the enter button. Whoa! Wait! Well, I did not realize that was a drop until, like, the last second. Oh, please don't take me back to the access point. Please don't. Please. Please. I'm begging. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> well, at least we know where we're going. Not in the mood for your shit now, darling. So I hope everyone's been having a good week. I've been excited. This is a safe room. Well showed me. The I've been excited to get back inside. into this game. Great. More clocks. More clocks. Okay, let's be smart about this. I'm guessing I have to go up here. No, that is not the right way. Um, how am I going to get there? Well, the fact that I can barely even see doesn't really help. Let's see if I can run and do this. 
Hey, that worked. Ingenuity. Hey, How look, an access point. Across that? Yeah, that is... Okay, when they said there was an anchor point here... Sorry, an anchor point here... I didn't think they meant it literally. Regardless. Okay, so... Yeah. I don't know how to get there. Um... I was just looking to see if there was any, like, hidden bridges. Um, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Indiana Jones this shit. Nope. You know what I just realized? We get penalized. I saw it deduct like 2,000 and change from my, uh, from my resources. I just realized that. How am I supposed to get across that? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. And there's stuff up there too. So there's, there's a box up there, and there's a box all the way up there. And the anchor's gone. Probably just has them rendered in or something. Um, okay. I'm guessing we need an ability that we don't have yet. There's no, uh... There's no light switch around, is there? No. Does not look like it. Okay. Well, not much more I can do here. I don't think. Um... Let's let's do some missions. Okay, so the old growth, uh, we can't go there yet because there was no way to, there was no elevator. Let's uh, see if if there is a new um if there's a new side quest from Ati. We wanted to go. Where was he? Was he ventilation? I think he was around ventilation. If I remember correctly. <sighs> All right, we wanted to go this way. Oh, Arty. Do you have any? To pussy splinters. I've never heard that term before, and I'm glad I did. What a mess! Ta they are very good listeners. You can tell them anything, or you can sing to them. They like that. Do they? In central research, huh? Okay, there are, there are a lot of plants. There are a lot of plants in central research. There are quite a lot of plants in central research. You guys are not plants. Boom, baby. You can have that. Oh. You can have this. Don't think I forgot about you. You can have bullets. Ha. You 
can have... Or I can have your soul. Fight for me. Anyone else? Nope. Alright. Now we wanted to go to Central Research. Central Research. That's Central Executive. Not quite. Not quite where we want to go. There we go. So talk to the plants. What would you say if you would talk to a plant? Write in the comments. What would you... Oh. This is... This is up here. Right. Hey, guys, can I talk to you? I've had a very long day. How do we talk to the plants? Where does this go? I've never tried this. Parapsychology? Oh, it goes down there. Gotcha, gotcha. Have we been in here? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, oh. We have definitely not been in here. Rubber Duck Supplement. We saw the rubber duck earlier. Discovered in the home of Agent Blank, after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck, according to Agent Blank, the matter was ignored, believed to be the result of a child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. Quack. Quack. Can you imagine being woke up in the middle of the night to that? After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the Bureau for study. Update. It was discovered that Agent Blank was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent Blank has been terminated. Why would you ever do that? Why, why would you take something that you know is, like, possessed by some unworldly being entity i don't know i don't fucking know why would you take it home here kid play with this fucking ball that just bounces on your head all fucking day who thinks that's a good idea maybe that's why the number two pencils have been banned what if what if the objects of power um, are like wanting to get out and they're like just showing up randomly in like purses or like duffel bags or something like the number two pen what if there was an object of power that was a number two pen and they couldn't figure out which one was the number like which one was the one that was possessed Um, and people just kept on taking it home like they didn't know any better maybe that's why there's no more number two pencils I don't fucking know okay so the question remains how the Fuck. Are you floating? Oh, yeah, you're floating. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna take the elevator down? Uh, yeah. Let's take the elevator down. I forgot, just... Just wax it. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? You doing alright? You've had a long day. We'll, we'll go to Dylan. Don't soon, don't worry. We'll go get him soon. Psychology. Oh, this is not where I want to be. Um, central research. This way? Talk to the plants. Oh, okay. This was the right way. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At least they can't. I hope your day has been productive, little plant. <laughs> That really works, huh? Interesting, interesting. I'll take it. So it has to be specific plants. So I guess the ones that are kind of withered? Uh, it looks like there may be... Oh, Atsi, I love you, bro. I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering me. Atsy pointing us in the direction where we need to go. 
So it looks like we maybe have to do like seven plants. Looking just looking to see how like the how much a progress bar fills. Seven plants maybe looks all right. I don't think you'd have these kind of plants in the washrooms. Uh, I don't see those plants in here. All right. Where else? Where else? Is there anything here? No. Oh, this place has seen better days. It just keeps growing and growing. I want that. I want it now. I'm going to get it now. Because I want it. I didn't get it. I failed. Attempt number two. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Persistence is key. Shield efficiency. Nice. Nice. Okay, so definitely can't go down. Is there a way to go down that way? Oh, there is. Okay, you know what? Let's do this plant stuff first. Then uh fuck Jesse's brother. We'll we'll go do the we'll go do that next. Ooh, plant. I wish my leaves were as pretty as yours. Did you say your uh your two lips need brushing up, Jesse? Alright, this is where we were. down here. How about up here? How about this way? Maybe yes, yes, yes. Do you have a family? I have a brother. I miss him a lot. We'll get to him, Jesse. Don't worry. I, prom I promise you. That is my word. We will go find him. Uh, where is this? This is Dr. Darling's penmanship intentionally this bad. Oh, this Trying place. Trying to test our code breaking skills. Maybe. Um, is there any reason to be back here? I'm gonna guess not. Bye, guys. Have fun. Okay, so let's see down here. Have we gone in here? We have not gone in here. Plant complaint. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. Hey, that music is pretty good. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. And people like him, like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth Link again to, Dr. Lewis. At this point, are you really questioning what's going on in the oldest house? And again, why the fuck is it so dark in here? There's no lights even in the ceiling. Who works in this kind of environment? Hi, yeah. Oh, oh, hi guys. Sorry, but you're in the way of whatever this is. All right. Oh, it's a document. Synchronicity. Okay, yeah, so synchronicity experiment. I remember reading this before, not really understanding what it was talking about. So, uh, the hypothesis was that I, by identically altering the decor of every room and then changing the channel in every room, but one, that the single differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. Okay, so this is what synchronicity is and the unseen connections. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, 
yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible, unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road. Now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce blank behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. How would you even test something like that? So if I'm understanding correctly, it's like if I dr if I take this this Pepsi Max can and I put it a certain way, somewhere in the world, uh, some guy trips. Like is that that that's what I'm getting from this? Like ca causality. Uh, but like in in a way that. You wouldn't think there's any kind of correlation between two different uh, two different events. How would you even test that? That's so weird. Unless I'm misunderstanding. I, I don't know. It's weird. Such a weird concept. What the fuck kind of plants are these? Alright. Uh, it looks like two more plants to talk to. Hopefully they're up here. Fight for me. Fight for me. Oh, never mind. Come on, do it. Do it. That was my own fault. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, not good. Not good. There we go. You don't fuck with Jesse. All right. You see that battle? They say I'm the director, but what does that mean? It means you run no the place. I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no on-the-job training. <laughs> I love how they like just, you know, hey, they're talking to me. I'm excited, and then Jesse just complains. Is like, oh fuck this shit, and just drops back down. All right, dimensional research. Ooh, I'm curious about this. Um, yeah, sorry about the mess, guys. Oh, man, we're missing one plant. Fuck. Alright. Uh, nothing in there. Let's see what's going on over here. Firebreak. Awfully changing labyrinth. You can never pass through. Dimensional research. Every measure of security. Possible keywords. Showing intrigue. Shrouded in mystery. Oh. Alright. So, wait, do we just get a mission? It said Firebrand. Firebrand. Nope. 
So is this where we are? Oh, fire break. No. Ashtray maze. Oh, there I go again. Pressing B. This is some, like, 40 shit, man. I'm sorry, what? Wait, what? Oh, cool! I love the way they, like, fold up, like, cards. They even sound like cards. Um... Yeah. Well, I just went in a circle, didn't I? Oh, maybe, maybe not. What is that? Huh. Wonder why the wall is broken there. I thought that was a door. Okay, I'm confuzzled. So it just keeps taking me back here. Now it just takes me back over here. Oh, but that's where I wanted to go. Okay, maybe we need to come back here afterwards. Or like some sort of... Yeah. I assume... Uh, holy crap! I didn't even realize that whole right side. Yeah, I'm... I'm guessing we'll need to come back here at some point. Cool! Found the ashtray maze. Why is it called the ashtray maze? Who the fuck knows? Saw a lot of ashtrays, but... Where are the other... Oh, they're over there. Wow, look how far apart they are, man. Alright, so we gotta find the final plant. Dr. Darling's office? How did I not come in here before? Oh, too much stuff to play with. I've been fielding questions recently. Ooh, you don't look so regarding good. Regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? I... Oh. He just made a Seinfeld reference before there was even Seinfeld. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Actually, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Seinfeld was already around is, at this point. Uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're gonna you're gonna suffer horribly. So that brings up an interesting point. If if it's gotten to the point where he's looking uh mighty stressed out, mighty he's he's wearing pretty thin at this point. Um and you could tell he's kind of like he knows something's on the horizon. 
and he has to make these HRAs for something that's like super classified. At what point does it stop being classified and becomes like, I don't want to say public, uh, like give public awareness, but at least like your coworkers, you know what I mean? The, your employees of your, your company of the FBC, would you send some kind of memo out saying like, look, this is classified shit. Don't tell the public. Um, like you got to sign NDAs or whatever, but if they got to wear these things around while you're working, because they know something's coming, I mean, does it, is it still classified at that point? Like, I don't know. That That's a, that's a interesting question to ask. At what point does classified knowledge become top secret knowledge become cleared for public knowledge? Astral Plane Counter Essay. All right. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the blank, an entity or group of entities that we have very little information on or little that I am allowed to access. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the blank, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very blank of objects, such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the blank, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the blank? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will resort, result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the blank is a natural fact and not something more blank? Yeah, I, again, it just boils down to the question, what are really these objects of power? Like, what are they being possessed by? We, we still don't know. It's compiled by Emily Pope. Multimedia, I'm guessing this is just the one we just saw. Yeah. Uh, and Hotline, we got a new one. Do we? Oh, Asteroid Maze. I'm averse to using objects of power. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder and those the binder invites can ever pass through. The things we hid in dimensional research, the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. Lately, I've started to think I should revoke that license. Oh. Doubts about Darling, eh? Or at least maybe his crew? I mean, sure. If Darling looks like he's not in a good state, he's not performing up to task, then yeah, I can certainly understand that. I love those things. Anyway, I, I know there's people that, that hate them. Darling, budget request. Dear Dr. Darling. Aw, it sounds like a start to a love letter. I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted, contacted you. Has already contacted you. I don't know why that sounded weird in my head. Asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel. All fuss, but no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a single fan. I know you're fan. I know you are a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. 
Yours in admiration. Yours in ass kissing, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Is there something up here I saw earlier? No. Nope. Holy crap, that's a lot of uh, designs on the wall. Astral Plane. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle, determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious, would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the blank and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So we keep coming up against the uh, Carl Jung. How is how are the Jungian archetypes? How is any of his work tied to this kind of stuff? Like anybody who studied Jung, like just let me know in the comments. I'm I'm kind of intrigued why why all of this is Jungian. So many additional theories have been raised since Doctor Ash's time. Objects of power are placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. Interesting. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. That's interesting. That actually kind of answers the question. Objects of power placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and objects of power... And objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully, the truth will emerge. So, if the astral plane, if Earth was once part of the astral plane, there's that's the thing though, like. The astral plane is like the I'm guessing those tutorial areas where there's like it's just blank, like just white everywhere. Um, I'm in. I'm curious how. Oh, sorry, darling. Um, I'm curious how Earth came about in oh in um. Not nice. Not nice. Not nice. Oh, hi. Okay, you know what? I dare you. I fucking dare you. There more? Apparently. Make me come up there. Oh, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Come on. Okay. Let's find that final plant. Too many tangents in this game. You lose track of what the fuck you were doing. Um, could it maybe be in here? Doubtful, but we gotta check, we gotta check. We gotta be thorough.
Any plants around here that need some talking to? I am very good at the pep talk. At the pepper talk. Oh, where, oh, where can this last plant be? Is it around here? No. Uh, maybe up around here? No. Is it possibly in here? Oh yeah, this area. Where it plays the the music. Yeah, by by poets of the fall. Pretty damn good band. I love their rendition of um, You Know My Name, the, the Casino Royale James Bond song. Th their cover of it is fantastic. Uh, come on, where is this last plant? Oh, it's right here. God damn it. Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. Mmm. That's all of them. But I kind of wish there were more. They're good listeners. Are they, though? Well, I guess they are good listeners. Okay, so... We found a way down. We just have to be careful. Wait, did we find a way down? Yeah, we did. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I love how we're like actually falling so hard we're cracking the floor as opposed to breaking our bones. And here. Okay. Where the fuck are we? Ugh. Oh god. I don't even want to know how that's possible. Ugh. You know, Jesse, in addition to the gun, maybe you should have asked for a flashlight. Um. Because, uh. Apparently, this place doesn't believe in. in lighting up corridors in certain offices. Dude, I'm getting, like, mad Last of Us vibes. Okay, so I know that there was a way there. I don't know where this leads. That leads... Oh. Looks like there's people down here. Okay. So good to know. That's where we can go. There's really nothing to pick up around here. I mean, other than... Whoops. Other than this. I'm guessing that turns on the elevator. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh, we found an intrusive pattern. Very nice. I really wanted to go that way. Dude, these like trilling sounds are just. They're just weird. Careful in there, ma'am. Area's under quarantine. A 
I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if sure. you have, I still wouldn't go in. Uh, noted. Do you know who the fuck I am? Excuse me? Are you lost? Are you? Okay, you know what? Before I talk to you, I'm gonna look around. The mold threshold. So, you wanna know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms, similar in appearance to blank. Construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these blank are the original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable organism I have ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as Mold-1. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates into the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This, this is the last of us. This is legit The Last of Us. I wonder which came first. I, I, I'm pretty sure they came out around the same time, but I'm pretty sure Last of Us came out maybe like a year before. I'm not entirely sure. But this is legit Last of Us. Um, this behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is truly an ingenious little thing. A full report... A full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Inspection report. Oh, careful. I don't want to knock it down. I can't read any of that. Threshold Utility Counter Essay by Rhea Underhill. Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled blank contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile, to use its words. We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. I mean, from what we saw, yeah, the mold, well, I don't know about hostile, but it is aggressive in its expansion and how much it spreads. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the blank creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. Excuse me. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into blank. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Okay, I, I already don't like this woman. She has to challenge everything. Not saying Dr. Darling is any better, but... She's like, Dr. Darling is not all that. I'm, I'm all that. Hello, Rhea. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into life at the old FBC? I also wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise. Incredibly bright, extremely intuitive. But I want to hear what you thought of her. I think you two could be very good on a project together. Could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You always were women of focus. I always admired that about you. Talk soon. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. It's, it's almost three in the morning. <laughs> but I want to play. All right. All right, Rhea. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. <laughs> Do you she know what I am? Safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? 
No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need. Here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. Holy shit. Um, didn't I just read a memo saying, like, the mold are not actively hostile? And now you're saying, it's too dangerous to walk around. Have you seen out there? And if you don't know what the... <laughs> oh, the hiss are no problem. Haven't you sorted that out yet? You're wearing a fucking HRA. Fuck you, bitch. Even Jesse doesn't like her. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. I mean, the but game is called Control. Question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher who's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. Mold. What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size is simply staggering. So it grows fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? So the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? Not really. What do you know about the Hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these, these superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. And that you wore Just it anyway? Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Alright, I still have no idea what I'm looking for. Um, let's change the mission, at least, to this. I'll get back to more important things. Got me. Bitch. If I I'm trying to take out my gun and shoot her. You know, I'm surprised... I saw a picture of myself in one of those offices out earlier. Down here. I'm surprised there's not one in here. No need to hurry back. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I won't. You keep looking at your microscope. <sighs> it smells so sweet down here. Suddenly I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. Really? You wanna... Oh, that goes boom. Good to know. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're different. And you're level six. Are those people? Where? Well, the 
ones I shot? Yeah, probably. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. I couldn't even see what it was shooting me with. More there. Boom, baby. Let's, uh, yeah, let's make our way down. Yep. Oh, jeez. No. Yeah, I'm gonna blow up. Oh, God. It causes chain reactions. Uh, fuck. Oh. Ah, you're up there. Oh, you're there too. Oh, jeez. Okay, this area is pretty dangerous. Gotta gotta go slow. Oh God, I'm still all the way up, aren't I? I haven't reached an access point down here yet. Oh, fuck. Uh, Alright, you know what? Let's do... You know what? Let's level up first. Um... Yeah... Twenty percent, eh? Let's see if we can make no upgrade to shatter. Uh, let's let's check and see what mods I can. I still have level ones, man. All right, damage against enemy armor. That I mean. Definitely. I don't really have much, do I? Uh, what is this one? Ammo. Ammo cost per shot. I'll deconstruct that one. Damage while low on health, 56%. What's the other one here? Just damage. Yeah, that one's 51%. Maybe it would make sense to maybe make a mod or two. But is it just random? Upgrade. Insufficient materials. House memory. Okay, so I know house memory is one of the... Um, the higher ones okay so i guess if i upgrade yeah i can it would upgrade like the level of mods i can make all right so let's break down some of the other stuff here so exclusive to spin rate of fire 39 percent recoil i don't think i'll ever really use recoil uh, damage while aiming um yeah. Exclusive to Pierce. 
No, there's better ones up here. So rate of fire. Accuracy. And we haven't really used spin yet. Projectile spread, we can get rid of that one. Recoil. Uh, damage while on health. I mean, 56% is actually pretty good. But what's low on health? Like, what constitutes low health? Like 50%, 20%. Projectiles fire plus five. Um, oh, I do have spin. So plus three. So I haven't upgraded shatter yet, which is probably why I only still have the one. Um, shit. I don't know why I went up. Uh, so for spin, let's just put a thing on there. Let's try it first, actually. Oh, well, we can test it out now. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, Jesus. Fuck off. I like it that much. It's down. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I like spin. Pierce might be better. Pierce or Shatter. Um, I like Pierce. Because uh, especially Penetrates Armor. That's very useful. So, okay. Uh, at least the ones exclusive of Spin, we could definitely get rid of. I'm never going to use it. I'll be completely honest. Uh, can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. And the personal mods, uh, 32% and C speed. Yeah, C speed will be good. Oh, we have a third one we unlocked. Okay, so what do we got? Um, oh, another 30% for C speed. Potentially. Advantage energy cost, minus 12%. Eh. C speed, 63%. We'll keep that for now. I'll get rid of this one 34 uh, percent energy recovery speed 24 percent that's pretty good shield energy cost 16 percent um nah. no energy evade only 18 percent well how much is it now Okay, so we have that, and then if I do this... It is a considerable difference. But I haven't really been having any issues evading. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it, to be honest. Uh, energy recovery speed, yeah. Launch energy cost, 18%. I do use launch a lot, and there are times where I have to wait for it to, to load back up. Uh, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. Shield strength. 
See, this one would definitely be more useful. Shield strength, 40%. Launch energy cost, 14%. Well, this one's 18, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that one. I'm curious if these... Uh, the C's accelerators, the C speeds, um, if they stack. I mean, not like I'm really trying now, but yeah. Um, okay, I guess we're heading back down. I don't think I saw an option to seize those, um, the, the fungus infected ones. I could be wrong, but I don't think it gave me the option. I think it was only the hiss. Which, if that's the case, um, it's kind of useless for me right now. I'd have to double check. Okay, so let's see what's down here. Oh, geez. No, no! Alright. Um, what's this? Pink Flamingo Supplement. Oh, I remember the Pink Flamingo. Agents notice, yeah, it was at the Panopticon, I remember that. Agents notice a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and loudly claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personnel interest, the personal interests of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. And event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. Dr. Darling reported a wait of blank seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After blank, he was found to possess no blank and was released. The item remains in bureau custody under suspicion of altered status. Though this still has not been proven, all known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. All right. Oh, I can, okay. Oh, fuck off. Seriously?
Okay, I really need some health. I really need some health. Uh, fuck. Whoa, whoa. What? Shit. I'm being attacked. Of course I'm being attacked. Of course I'm being attacked. Oh, fuck you. attacking me earlier. Sorry guys, I haven't been saying anything for a little while. Just been focusing on this shit. Don't want to die again. Oh shit, they regrow back. Whoa! No, no, no. No, no, no. That is good to know. They grow back. Oh, is that a sample? This looks like a good one. Ah, I see, I see. Oh god, do I have to venture down there? I don't think I can. Fuck off. Oh, no one's here. Okay. I mean, I'll fucking take it. Alright, so I have to stay up here. I guess the floor area... The bottom area hurts. Is the um, is the lesson? Okay, so uh, collect. Uh, so grows near fresh corpses, grows near toilets, grows near televisions, and grows near staircases. So let's keep going. So restrooms, perfect. Something's breathing. You're mine now. Use my slaves. Uh, have you guys seen any kind of fungus around here somewhere? No? Why is there... Okay, I guess we're not in the restrooms yet. Uh, where the... Is this the restroom? One of Underhill samples. Perfect. Oh god. Grab your popcorn, guys.
shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting-edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well. But accidents do happen. <laughs> Trapping agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Topher. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late. <laughs> there are no words. There are no fucking words. I don't know why, but Mr. Bones gave me Director Trench vibes for some reason. I'm not saying Director Trench is that creepy. Well, I don't know if he's intended to be. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. And why did he have a separate doll face? By the way, I would like to point out, that is not low budget. It may seem low budget. It takes effort to be like that. Look at that. We almost missed this one. So grows near, to grows near toilets. We, did we still not go to the toilet? Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna go down this way. Oh shit. Or the restrooms Oh shit! Fuck you. Uh were the restrooms this way? I can't see shit. No, it's not. Did I miss an entrance here somewhere? There's toilets. Is there one around here? There is one. Ugh, gross. Underhill is gonna owe me for this. Okay, so grows near fresh corpses. Did we see a corpse yet? I don't think we did. You know what I would love? An access point of some kind. That would be... That'd just be the tits right now. Stagger. That would just be the bee's knees. Know what I mean? Oh god. No. No. Chittering. Oh, thank God. In the name of the FBC. There's a fresh corpse. Can we have some music? I'm guessing it's copyrighted. Um. A lot of fresh corpses here, guys. Anyone have any kind of fungus attached to them? Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. No? Want to help a girl out? 
fuck. Is that it? That is this it. This looks like a good one. Oh, aye. That's all five samples. There it is. I should get these back to Underhill. Uh, okay, so... What do I do? Do I go all the way back, or do I access point back to Central Research and just take the elevator down? Fuck it. Fuck it. Where am I? Okay. Um... Yeah, there's no way I'm making that. No way in hell. Alright, we got we're gonna run. We're gonna run. I don't care right now. No fucks given about that right now. Nope. Would you walk around knowing there's like all these spores spurting everywhere? Without a mask. You look like a woman with mold for me. Oh, do I? I found all five, but I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold yeah. has that effect on some people, likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know, except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers, just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. The look Jesse gives, now, like... Me to it. Half the time is just hilarious. Okay, give Underhill time to finish the antidote. I need sure. To going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. I heard you the first sixty I times you said it. Here. This place is fucking weird. This is nothing. The clocks? Now that's weird. What's weird about a bunch of clocks? Shut up. I think that's the new director. Yeah, at ease, gentlemen. Alright, so I'm actually kind of glad we did this first. So, we still don't have any way to access uh, that anchor point, I guess. Missions. Yeah. Let's see if... Okay. I, I know we should continue on with Dylan's mission. But I'm kind of interested to see if uh, Ati has anything new for us. I didn't even realize. Hi. Yes, there's more. 
plenty more. I saw you. I saw you. Come on. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Ah! Ah! Who be shooting? Okay, you know what? You know what? Jeez, hi. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? You do that now? What? Okay. What the? F Where are all these people coming from? I'm behind a wall, that's why. Alright. So these guys are kamikazes, got it. Oh my god. was I doing again? Yes. Okay. I remember now. Um, I think it was through here. Then take the elevator up. So we'll go down to the, the maintenance area. We'll see if Ati has anything new on the board. If not, we'll go to we'll go to the we'll make our way to the Panopticon. To find uh, to find Dylan, finally. Astral constructs. Construct charge. Charge holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast. Interesting. Can we upgrade? No, we cannot. We still need house memory. Okay. And I only have a uh, thing one. Yeah. I might upgrade my energy next. We'll see. Uh, okay. So we want to go to ventilation. In maintenance. <laughs> oh, Otty. Arty dearest. Containment sector has blown to pussy splinters. The world won't end even if you keep doing it. So nothing new. Alright, see ya, Arty. Uh wait what? Am I being guess I'm being an idiot. I am being Dumkov. Yeah, so this area is still... So I'm guessing maybe once we clear the antidote, or w get the antidote, sorry, we'll be able to clear this area no problem. Or get through it. Okay. So. Wrong button. Let's... Uh, collectibles. What are we getting? Collectibles. Multimedia. Oh, threshold kits? Yeah. 
when you're caught in a house shift. Yep. Okay, Brothers Keeper. Let's do it. Um, I did not look where I'm supposed to go. Containment Panopticon. So how am I supposed to get there? Containment sector. Okay. Containment sector. Define the Panopticon. Oh my god, where the fuck? Alright. So it's up there. So I'm guessing logistics is the best place to go. Maybe, potentially, hopefully. I'm kind of curious about those other areas on the top right by the turntable. They're all uh, question marked. Seal threshold entrance. Let's go take a quick gander. See if we can open up some other areas. Because it looks like this game, it kind of tells you where to go, but, like, it doesn't, really. There's a whole bunch of different areas that are, like, closed off. Well, not closed off. It's, they're, like, optional. Right? Um, no. So we do want to go this way. Where is this turntable? Oh, is it that bottom area? I can't interact with it um, in any way. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in here. Okay. So this will take me... Yeah, this is going to take me back. Oh, this is the clock area. Witch, witch. See a witch, bitch. Oh, come on. I know you're there. I can see you. You, you haunt this area. You you do you. Um, am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way at all. Maybe there's no way for me to get to the turntable yet. I don't know. I don't know. This is all tech. Oh, jeez. This is all technically first day on the job. Really. Am I still going the right way? I'm so not going. I'm going to logistics. Fuck it. We'll go to logistics. Hello, everyone. Did you miss me? Did you miss old Jesse? be my slave now. Why are you blowing up for no reason? At least take some of them with you. There you go. Oh. Oh. 
Are you guys really limitless? Endless? I mean, not that this isn't fun or anything. Alright. Now that we've thoroughly blown up logistics, let's head... No, this was the right way. I was going the right way. So we shall go up here to the Panopticon. There we go. I also kind of want to check out what's on the left here first. Because it looks like it just... It's kind of like a dead end area. Uh, I guess I need to go up here first. The Wall of Honor. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind, we honor the sacrifice. Oh, these guys are, uh... Jenna Fishtrap. I wonder who these guys actually are. Are they like, uh, uh, like developers? I'm waiting to see Sam Lake's name on here. Mark Strong. No. No Sam Lake. Medical wing. Oh, maybe that's... Oh my god, search. Let's check out the medical wing first. Even the game's making a big deal out of it. Oh, hi guys! Uh, you, you in line to see the doctor? Might need a wheelchair! Or that concussion you may have had. See it? Let God sort him out. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. Uh, I think is this a dead end? It looks like a dead end. It is a kind of a dead end. It is not a dead end. Maybe it's a dead end. Okay, so I'm guessing we'll go around. We'll come out that way. Let's check out the shelter first. I can't remember if I made a comment about this already, but given the fact of how many shelters we've come across, um, why is no one in them? Everyone is just fucking infected. Oh my god. Not this shit. The mold's already expanded. Oh hey, look at that. Uh, well, let's go through here first. Clearance level 6. Okay, so we're writing these down. We are in the medical room. Medical wing level six. So we still have level five, I take it. Uh, doctor, I, I'm not feeling well. How did that not take Uh, 
nice. Way to go, my minion. Oh, hello. Yeah, you, you take care of it. There. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a bunch. There is definitely a bunch. Yeah, you, you take care of that ruckus out there while I check around in here. So I'm noticing it, it may actually be stacking. Yeah, you, you guys do your thing. All right, what do we got here? Mold autopsy. Ooh, this should be good. The deceased was a blank year old with no blank year old blank with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold, in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal-based in its appearance. During autopsy, the cadaver's pleural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold. To an extent, the medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably, but not provably, caused by trapped gases. Routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were successfully extracted. However, the rapid retrogression outside the host's body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. I've always found that like so, like the body horror kind of uh, aspect, which is clearly this is, um, to know that there's like, your insides, not even on the outside, inside of you, where you can't even tell what the fuck's going on, is changing. That's just so... That's terrifying to me, man. Oh, hi! And the fact that it's, like, made to smell, like, sweet and everything, so entice you, right? To eat it. Come on. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's always one motherfucker. Where are you? There you are. I'm guessing there's still another one of these fungus sniper things. Because the music hasn't died down. What is that? The fuck? What is that? That is weird. Yo, that is cool. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about secret walls. Oh man, God knows how many I've missed. Alright, well, we'll worry about that another time. I guess there is nothing else. Wait. I saw something else down there. No? Alright. Alright, what's down here? Nothing. Nothing down here.
Okay. And off the gun security. So was that it? Was that the medical wing? Oh, something down there. Altered item breach. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. His they has found him. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? I thought Marshall said that P6 was a program, not that he himself was. Yeah, prime candidate program. Okay. So wait, is he in the Panoptica P6 cell? So they have a cell specifically for him, and they've actually like marked it. Okay, let's let's check out this area first. There's got to be um, got to be some kind of documentation. found their way up into the building once we became aware of it it was there for the rest of the population it was hiding in plain sight a, a slippery blind spot seemingly discouraging observation it's uh, a place of power an ongoing awe of its own seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality it's unstable. Shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Fascinating. No documents. Anything down here? Nope. Wait. Anything at the end here? No. No, we don't need to see it again. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. What's around this area? What do we got? Globe procedures. Ooh, another looks like OOP. Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. However, contact should be limited, as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand painted, spins freely on all axes. While the containment sorry, while the continents and oceans are recognizably recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous blank and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tan Relio. There are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in blank handlers. That kind of reminds me of uh, of a book, a uh, part of the series called, funnily enough, the Threshold series. Um, the the this reminds me specifically of the second book called The Fold. Um, for those of you that are interested in like. Um, 
quantum physics and like cosmic horror stuff, re read the Threshold series. The first two books, anyway. Um, for, uh, 14, 14? I believe 14 is the first book. Uh, and then The Fold is the second book. Um, the third one... The third one takes place on the moon. Um, it was okay. And the fourth one, I forgot what it was called. I didn't like the fourth one that much. It was meant to cap off the series, if I remember correctly. And it wasn't that good. No, I didn't like it that much. But 14 and The Fold are amazing books. Um, they're set in the same universe, but they don't really have much to do with each other. Well, they're... I'll just say what it's about. 14 is basically about this guy... Sorry for those of you interested in playing the game. Just 30 seconds. Uh, 14 is a story about like this uh, guy who like, lives in LA. Super broke. Works like temp jobs. And he finds uh, this apartment that's like too good to be true. It's like super cheap. Um, and it's like right in the heart of like downtown LA or something like that. But the place is, has weird vibes. Um, like uh, there's a light switch in his apartment, for example that turns on like a red light even though no matter what kind of bulb you put in it it's it turns red um layouts of the of the building are like the the apartments are like weird and there there's some weird shit going on trust me it's a great book the fold basically deals with um different dimensions I don't want to say too much because it would actually give away too much. Um, but it's a fantastic read. You you will not see it coming. You will not see... Not even a plot twist. But the mechanics of... Of the, uh, of the dimensional stuff about halfway through the book... Is, is crazy. It's crazy to think about and it's terrifying. That's all I'll say. Check it out. The Threshold series 14 and The Fold. And if you can if you can get the audiobooks, uh I believe Ray Porter is the narrator's name. Fantastic narrator. Really great, really great. Learn level 6. Let's write this one down too. Where are we? Security. Uh P6. Level six. Cool. Come on, nothing in these rooms. Come on. Come on. What are these? What are these about? FPC. Expedition. 12, 12, 23. So does that mean... You know what's crazy? If you read it, if you read it as like month, day, year, this technically takes place... Just like last month. But I'm pretty sure it was like 2012, December 23rd or something. That's that's funny. Seriously, nothing here? That guy looks like uh, the original Gomez Adams from like the black and white Adams family show. Still got a recognition. Who is it? Can't even read the name. Wouldn't they just normally write the name underneath and then sign it? Um, okay, so I think we just made kind of a circle. Yeah, we did. Let's check down here real quick. Oh, there's another shelter down here. And there's something in there. I want in. I want in there. Ooh, 
Were they playing Pac-Man in here or something? Waka waka. Come on. Can I look in this briefcase? No. Alarm's gonna go off. Beep beep. Oh, just beep beep. Hello, any survivors? No, no survivors? Okay. Everyone's dead. Everyone is fucking dead. Okay, let's go to the Panopticon. That's where we came from, I think, yeah. I didn't even realize it was a cord. Is that Jesse? That looked like Joaquin Phoenix for a second. Ocean View Motel. So it's funny how we always keep coming back to this. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Um Yeah, it's what the fuck? Yeah, I I'd, I'd be terrified too if I came in and looked like this. It's like time stands still here too. Um Okay. You know, just that does a small ass TV, and it's even got like the dials. Like, there's no remote for it. You gotta, you gotta like get out of bed and like reach the fuck up there and change that shit. God damn, god damn. Ocean View Motel does not keep up with the times. And let me guess, so this moved everything in the first room around. I would I would venture to guess that. Hey look, I was right. Are those keys? Yeah they are. Black light. Green light. Hello. I wonder if anything changes here. Not really. Ooh, find Dylan. Okay, so this basically opened everything up. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Things prisoner. hard for him as they were for me. Probably. Maybe in here. They were even harder. Maybe. Archives piece. What the fuck? Did you see that? Like, reality just, like, shifted. Yeah, look at that. Well, I guess it's maybe just, like, the camera coming down. I thought it was, like, reality skewing or some shit. Okay, archives, P6, cell, and security. Oh, Otzi, are you in here, sir? You are not Otzi. You so have... Just popping up all over the place. You have the worst coma I've items? ever seen, sir. I don't know. You told me. You're the one that's been in here. Let's uh, read this first. Thermos procedures. Thermos. Thermos procedures. 
Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. Oh Dear Diner. I believe that's a reference to Alan Wake. I believe. No unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected, but unverified. Actually, the thermos, if I remember correctly, they're collectibles in Alan Wake. So yes, I do believe this is um, an Easter egg. Well, Easter eggs are more hidden, but you know what I mean. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap and a logo of Oh Dear Diner located in Bright Falls, Washington. Bright Falls takes place, is uh, Alan Wake takes place in Bright Falls. The cap doubles as a mug. The item responds to Formula 1.16 yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. Sure it's not a Yeti? One of those Yeti mugs or uh, thermoses? It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, no matter its quality before being poured into the item. The uh, thermos was discovered on the shore of Cauldron Lake. I believe that's where the cabin was. The, the cabin... Okay, whatever. I, I don't want to spoil shit. Outside the town are Bright Falls. Both are known sites of recurring AWEs. See Bright Falls AWE case file for further information. According to witness statements, Alan Wake, there you go. See Prime Candidate Program for Entry for further information. Who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos had been seen blank, collecting similar thermoses for an, for an blank purpose. There you go. So we can see it in the Panopticon, or 5 Unit 5. Hello, Mr. Langston. Langston? Is that his name? Oh, hello. Langston, yeah. Hi. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items, don't have time for this. power, and... I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. I'll call you comb over. All right, that's me. That's me. Not I'm get sorry. For this mess in the next performance review. All right, before we go, let's let's have a quick chat. Is the TV back in its box yet? No rush or anything. It's just, you know, an ongoing concern. All right, pull up a chair, Langston. Let's let's have a little powwow. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How cool of a job would that be, like... Basically taking inventory of all the weird shit that's going on in the world and you're in charge of, like, keeping him secure. Like, I, I know it, a lot of people find that, like, desk job, like, boring and shit. But, like, how cool would it be to, to do this kind of shit? Like, you're the one, you're basically the, the man to go to. You're, you're the encyclopedia of, 
of objects of power. You know what I mean? Like, how cool is that shit? How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. You literally just sang to plants a while ago, Jesse. What's the difference between objects of power and altered yes, items? Yes, please. Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice <laughs> metaphor. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. You know what? That storm's analogy weirdly kind of makes sense. Objects of power, like we've been told, like the objects of power, like the big bad shit. It's the shit we've been collecting that gives us abilities, right? But the altered items are um, like the rubber duck, you know, or uh, or the pink flamingo, shit like that, right? Like smaller stuff. It works on smaller scales. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trent certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? It does. Yeah. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. Why wouldn't you have funding for this... There's some lines of dialogue, like, why would you not have funding for this kind of shit? The whole point of the FBC is to, like, locate and secure, well, and research and all that shit, but, like, I would think securing these kind of items is, like, high priority. You would think. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years, and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. <laughs> or a gun picked me. I mean, what, what does that say about anything else? Like, you want a promotion? Grab that fucking gun. Yeah, you'll get a promotion right quick. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Like always. Let's take a Panopticon. look. Panopticon. Dylan is close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Okay, wow. That is a sight. Oh yeah, for anything else. This place is massive, eh? So how many floors are there? We're on the f we're on the first right now, obviously. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god! Fire break. Fire break. Didn't that lead to the that ashtray maze? Okay, so only one way to go, or maybe not. It's down here. God, don't tell me there's lower areas too. Hiss, I hear? Oh, surely the hiss can't have invaded this area. Oh shit, they did!
Why is there a white one? Oh. <laughs> that was a nice kick. Yeah, buddy. Give him what for. Put up, I say, put up your duke, sir. Qu'est-ce que c'est? The fuck just blew up there. Alright, well, whatever. Fortified Unit 714. Ooh. What have we got here? Is that a garbage bin? Oh no, it's a mailbox. I really wish there was some kind of like memo or like recording something that says like what what this stuff does like what if you put an hand your hand in there to like put like you drop your mail and it like it actually drops on like a different dimension or something like how crazy would that be is that a wicker basket it is See, like, if the astral plane, if these are, like, remnants from the astral plane, like, does that mean we had picnic baskets back in the astral plane? Like, you know what I mean? It, that just doesn't make sense to me. It's a cool concept. That these are, like, left behind. But, um, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Like, we had oscillating fans in the astral plane. Is that a memo? No. Ooh, a mallet. It's, a, it's like a sledgehammer mallet. Oh, I'm really sad. There's no, there's no memos here. Okay, so level five is the P6L. Ooh, we got an elevator. All the enemies. Yeah. Something went wrong with the bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was on Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Oh, hi. Don't worry. I'll murder you momentarily. Oh, hi there. I can't even aim my gun. So it looks like we can't even go in the archives or whatever level 3 is. We're in the AI containment? Artificial intelligence? This one's empty. Maybe it's invisible or it got away. Hey, Hello? look. Oh. Is, there, is anyone there? Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna do this. Um, how many? Myself, just one. Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? Is he dead? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God! Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My shipper blades have never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay. Okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. 
Ooh. I, I so want to do this. Assist the agent in the Panopticon cell after Dylan has been found. After Dylan has been found. Can we not go in there? No, we can't. Oh, you poor bastard. All right, hang hang on. I'll be I'll be back, I promise. Poor fucking bastard. His shift replacement never showed up. Does that mean he's been like God knows how long he's been there. And even the supervisor, fucking Fred. Um, even Fred has never said anything. Whoops. Oh, fuck you! Um, yeah, like, God knows how long he's been there. Could have been, could have been days. That means that guy is, like, sitting in his own shit and piss, man. Oh, don't want to fall. Is there anything down here? Hello, sir. Hi guys. I love how they were yelling, we got this! Yay, everyone, teamwork. Alright. Ooh, a shimmer. So I'm guessing this is what we saw on the camera. So, okay, you know what's funny? So we were looking at it from like basically this angle, which means the camera would have had to have been up there somewhere. But there's no camera. The cameras are all here. How has it not crushed this guy yet? Can I move him? I can't even... No, I can't move him. Oh, this is not a good sign. Hey, guys. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Oh, that's trippy as fuck. Oh shit. That'd be trippy, yo.
So subdue it. Oh shit. Oh my god. That is... That is some trippy shit. Okay. Um, oh. Um, yeah. Uh, how do I... Okay. Yo. You know what this looks like? This looks like the... The James Bond barrel. Like the... You know what I mean? The, the, the site at the beginning. Sorry, when I see the barrel, the gun barrel. I can't, I can't brain right now. Okay, so. There's a lot of enemies here. Guess we just drop. Okay. Guess we do have to drop down. All right, boys, coming down. Ooh. Ominous, ominous. Of course, we got a boss. Oh, jeez. I really need help. Oh my god, there's more. Damn, my gun's doing a lot of damage to him. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I should have. I should have. All right, Salvador. Let's go, buddy boy. Ah, yeah. You know what? Throw some rockets at your buddy there. A shield? Oh fuck. Fuck. You know what? of security his team didn't stand a chance against the hiss no one here does all right fun fight fun fight i don't know why i'm looking for fucking documents here oh uh, okay. okay well that too tv another object of power going nuts there we go again 
I was right. Look it up. Document. Ocelot's Anchor. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with a faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew blank by throwing a tin bucket, which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. Kind of reminds me of the movie Sphere. A passing fit, or the book even. A passing fishing vessel called the Blank rescued the forest surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the Sphere. Again, like the book. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. So I guess that's the that's that object of power in the um, in that clock area because it's an actual anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the blank to the U.S. port of blank. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the bureau via the blank. So Ocelot's anchor, but it says it's in the Panopticon. Weird. Research and records. Oh, Salvador's ID. It should have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Oh, it should never have been accessible. Lynn Salvador. Issue date 2017. When does this game take place? It's all over the place. At first it seemed like early 2000s, but issue date was 2017. Was this game even out in 2017? I don't even remember. Alright. Give me your power. <laughs> Babysitter. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold that. It's a levitator. Bro! Oh shit, we're falling. No, no, wait! We could. Bro! Yo, we can Superman this shit. So she gradually kind of falls. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so that's also interesting to note. If you... So you can let go of the button and she just floats down. But if you press A again, you drop. But if you hold A while dropping... You just kind of sink to the floor. Okay. That's that's good to know. So that's how we get over. Yeah. A while levitating to fall. While living in a slow fall, save the control in the recent. Yeah. Except you don't need to hold it. It's just does it on its own. So that's how we get over that ledge to that anchor. That's good to know. Nah nah, you can't get me. Oh Who the fuck is shooting at me? Anyways. Oh, there's people shooting at me. Yo, that's so cool. Bloating around and shooting. It's 
so dope. A little getting takes a little getting used to. Newsflash, APB. Oh shit. The static Okay. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Yo, that's a that's a crazy shot. It's like a thumbnail shot right there. Um yeah, even that. God damn. That's cool. That's cool, Ming. Um now I will actually look around. See if there's any other documents. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I think I am. I... I totally forgot that there was like a levitate ability. You know what? Just go there and blow them up. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. You missed me, bro. Dodge this. And that's also... How I can get those um, in that same area with like the, the anchor, those boxes like on either side, that's how I get those as well. Julio, all right. Hey, Fred, I fixed your problem for you. Hi. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I was on level one for a second. Because it said one over here. And I'm like, how the fuck did I get to level one? Oh. So is this how I get to a higher level? Alright, before I continue, I should probably... Um, Talk to Fred. Oh, then this is how I can get to the other levels. Like level 3 and level 2. Because the, um... Yeah. Because the thing doesn't go that high. The elevator. Oh, shit. I should, should have checked on that guy. Let me let me go check on that guy real quick. The, the guy watching the fridge. Uh, actually, I think he was on this side. Yeah, before we head up, let's head back down. Let's give this area a good once over. <laughs> so there's nothing there. No, there's something here. Surfboard. 
Surf's up, bruh. Nothing there. And nothing there. Let's check the other side. Oh, wait. I'm... Wait, what? Oh, right. I kind of wish you could fly faster, but... Yeah. Oh, it's closed off. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Um, anything of value down here? Maybe some more chests for me to open? Maybe? I'm gonna guess no. Alright. On to lower levels. I see a... Is that a Christmas tree? It looks like this area is also closed off. Or maybe not. Look at that. Can I go there? Yeah, look at that. Maybe there was something like this on a higher level. Fortified unit. Although there's no reason for me to be here. There's literally no reason for me to be here. Um... as well. Oh, this is where the elevator is. What the fuck? Oh, it's so dark. Thought it was gonna fall. Um, yeah, there's nothing here. Yo, this is scary, man. <laughs> What is that down there? See that light? I'm wondering if that's like a one of those health icons when someone dies. Um right, okay. So let's head back up here. Head across here. So it looks like there's nothing really even if I did go there, there's nothing there. Maybe even on the higher ones. So, yeah. Christmas tree. Can't even enter these areas. Oh, this is the pram. We read about this pram. The, the constant smoking. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. nothing here. So I guess the Christmas tree, the um, surfboard, like we haven't found those documents yet. Oh, and here's that globe! And yeah, we can't enter. Uh, for those of you that haven't noticed, if there's like a one of those green lights like above like the, the door, um, like a lock or unlock, that means you can enter it, potentially, if it's green. But if there's nothing there, you can't enter there. Ooh, the archives. Um, yeah, I'll enter. Why not? Oh, there's an area I missed. Oh, I guess that's where Dylan is, obviously. On the fifth floor. You guys can't hide from me. I fucking see you. Go fight each other. What is going on over there?
It's not one of those ball things, is it? Oh, shit. Shut up! Oh my god, shut up! Jesus. Yeah, that was annoying as fuck. Okay, we got, we got a document. Ooh, a book club! Alright. This is, yeah, unless you... Book Club Thoughts by Philip P. Unless you hooked me right away. Actually, you know what? Let's give him more southern accent. Unless you hooked me right away. Began with a visceral dismemberment scenes and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named The Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, just a little off. The characters even comment on it, saying how their lives fell out of control, as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over. Very meta. And I love the way they left the ending wide open. What happened to the guy? What happened to the guy ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Did he end up in the parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. All in all, it's an interesting read. I'd give it a solid 4 out of 5. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism from a work of fiction. Okay. Each uh, review is given like different... I feel like it's a different book. First one said it was like a uh, sci-fi genre... With like uh, different factions. Second one said it was like a love story. This one's saying it's like. I mean, they talked about the fix and the, and the the love one, but didn't they say that they that the problem got solved? Like the girl sacrificed herself to make sure the fix got fixed or like resolved, and now this is saying like it didn't. It left it wide open. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like, yeah, I feel like uh, it's a completely different book. Case files, what do we miss? Oh, I don't know. Eh. Alright, before we investigate what the fuck's going on there, let's check this side. Nothing. Whole lot of nada. Bup kiss even. What is going on? Is it above me? Oh, I see. Alright. You guys were causing the biggest fucking ruckus. Where are you going? Oh, it is you. Man, look at that thing. Oh shit. Ah! All right, all right. Get out, get out. Oh, fuck. Really? Alright, 
I'm just those guys can fight it out. I'm just gonna keep looking around. It's fantastic music, by the way. I don't know. Oh, this guy knows. This guy definitely knows. Don't worry, I'll join the fight in a minute. Don't worry. Oh. Oh, God. I'm sorry, bro. That must have sucked. Wow, Surge. Well, at least it killed all of them. There you go. Thanks, man. Sorry, I didn't kill him right away because I was trying to recruit him. Sorry, I'm not saying anything. I'm so sorry, guys. Ah! Just a lot going on right now. Yeah, let's see how you like it, bitch. Oh, boy. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but I will take it. Really? Really, man? I know it said there's like no way to kill these things, but it like, I refuse to believe that. It's like, I don't know what else to do. Just hide from it, I guess. God, this thing's literally on my ass. Can we go in here? Yeah, okay. We're good now. 
I think. I don't think you can follow me in here. <coughs> oh! How about some, uh... It's a good time for some threshold kids. Star Captain Hee Haw. Best name ever. You poke it with it. What? Okay. He's like. <gasps> Bureau rule number 74. Uh, always be suspicious of things that weren't there before. What? Oh? And he all why? Uh, okay. That was, that was brilliant. Just amazing. Ten out of ten. No notes. Ten out of ten. You do your thing, bro. You do your thing, bro. Uh, I think I've been here. Um, it doesn't know where I am, right? I'm just gonna assume it doesn't know where I am. Oh shit, it knows where I am! Um, where am I going? Yeah, I can't go in there. I don't even know where I've been or where I haven't been. Oh. Wait, there's something here. There's something here! Okay. We're good. Altered items. Behavior changes. Recently, there have been some alarming changes in behavior and altered effect in two altered items in the Panopticon. The blank and the blank have become much more aggressive with entirely new effects manifesting for no discernible reason. The items have been ingest the items have been investigated for updated containment procedures to counter these new effects with one successfully discovered to be contained by constant visual contact. But this development is worrying. What if all the altered items undergo this behavioral change? We need to find out what this is happening and what is changing. Handling these altered items has also resulted in numerous Panopticon staff being blank. I would say they've gone to the astral plane, but these aren't objects of power. Not one of them has come back. This, plus the uptick in astral knots, not returning from their dives, has me wondering what the hell is going on. Is anyone looking into this? Is there any plan? By Frederick Langston. There you go. Um, yeah, this one's the Threshold Kids. Okay. Um, and it occurs to me that we went in a room like this before, but I can't remember if it was the second floor or the third floor, because the floor fired a room just like this. 
And sorry guys, I, I know this must seem boring, like just running around the same location. I'm just trying to grab everything. Come on, come on, come on. Where the stair? Where the stair? Uh, nope, been in that one. So here, this is what I was talking about. Okay. So let's make sure there's something here. And then after this, I think we're good to go. I think I've checked everywhere else. Oh, here we go. See? Panopticon Methods Proposal. In this proposal, I'd like to explore the matter of containment policy. When an altered item enters Yolda's house, we thoroughly investigate any possible containment of actions or words or material that will prevent the item from applying its altered effect. However, I work with these entities every day, and I have good reason to believe that a less convoluted form of containment is possible. The items crave blank. If we initiated a series of blank praising the items, or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of blank that could be visited throughout the Bureau, I believe the altered items would behave without needing to resort to blank or blank, which only lead to the items feeling mistreated. If we treat them like criminals, we can't be surprised when they try to escape. He makes a valid point, actually. If these things are sentient, they definitely want to be acknowledged. Good on you, Fred. Good on you. Alright, now let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on! Uh, nothing in these areas, right? No. No doors I've missed. Here's a door. I gotta check it, guys. Following me to the bathroom. Disgusting! Whoa! Seriously? Oh, it's the witch! Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, jeez. What's here? Shelter. Give me shelter. Oh, lordy. Oh, my God. There's an under area? There's a sub area? Oh my god. Oh, that was cheeky. That was really cheeky. Oh my god. Jesus. Fuck me. the fuck, man? Like, fucking Jesus Christ. How are these generators still here? One could argue this was not worth it. Okay. By the way, for those of you wondering how I didn't get damaged for the most of that, dodging, evading. Really fucking helps. And as you can see, I did take quite a bit of damage. 
Alright, fuck it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Peace. R.I.P. Archives. Close. Open. Jeez, I'm crow. Alright. Let's get back down oh, to the first level. Alright, I'll talk to Fred first. Let him know about the situation. So many salvage. Life's a breach. Life's a breach. Let me know when the hits Alerts. are gone. I miss my desk. That's it. I'll see you later, Langston. Uh, I'll be oh, here. Oops. Like always. Like always. Uh, so what's our mission then? Just search for Dylan. Countermeasures, collect reward. Shatter recoil efficiency. Beautiful. Okay, spin maneuvers, I'm not doing spin. Uh, containment, incursion, calamities, and containment sector using abilities. Yeah, well, I mean, I should have had this one before, but I'll accept it. What's this one? Kill his rangers on the maintenance sector. We haven't even gotten one ranger. Calamities in the executive se sector with headshots. Um... Yeah, we'll just leave it for now. Abilities is still one. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to call it here for now. Um, I need to go to sleep. I need to, <laughs> I need to de-stress from this episode. There, there are a lot of, a lot, a lot that happened in this episode. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll we'll definitely uh, hit up Dylan later. Um, we'll actually probably hit up that anchor uh, beforehand. I'll definitely want to get that object of power, whatever it is, uh, be more powerful. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.